Uh, I am leaving Thailand. I have been approved and I have a visa back to Vietnam. With COVID, most countries are shut. Travel is kind of all over the place now. The process of going back to Vietnam is a little bit murky. If you're thinking about moving to Vietnam, there are actually three ways. The first is if you're a Vietnamese national and you have a Vietnamese passport, then you can actually speak to the embassy and they'll get you back. The second, if you're an investor, so you already have a company and some ties, then that company can help you get back. The third way to get back to Vietnam and the one that I'm gonna talk about today is the foreign expert. So here's a breakdown of everything that you will need. Of course, you need the help of an agent or your company to help you do these things on the ground in Vietnam. So I actually went through an agent and I recommend Industry Travel Asia. They really helped me through all the process and they answered all my questions. The first piece of document you'll need is from the People's Committee. It's a letter for permission with a stamp. The second document you'll need is a visa approval letter from the immigration department also with the stamp. Step one and two are crucial because before anything else, if that's not done and approved, then you can't do the rest of these steps. Of course, you'll need to book your flight back to Ho Chi Minh City or anywhere else in Vietnam. You can't actually book that online though. So you'll actually need to go through an authorized travel agent within Vietnam. Then you'll need to fill out an entry and exit form. Don't forget to provide two four by six passport photos. Then you'll actually need to prepare 25 US dollars as a fee when you actually touch down and you queue for your visa. You'll also need a hotel booking that's confirmed and verified with a letter that's attached. There's only certain hotels that the government will allow you to book. So there's actually an official list, which I'll leave below. You actually need approved transportation from the airport to the hotel. Your hotel can actually help you book the car or you can actually buy it in a package. And another thing, your insurance needs to cover COVID. So you can actually purchase this before you arrive and for you to be covered 31 day at least, or hopefully your company offers medical insurance. Three to five days before you actually enter into Vietnam, of course you need to do a RT-PCR COVID test. So everything I've mentioned up till now needs to actually be printed out. You need a physical copy and I would suggest you print two copies of each because what you don't want is to turn up and be like, shit, I can't get into the country. So let's say you've confirmed all that, everything is printed out. There's actually one last step that you need to do. There's a form that you need to fill in from the health department and I'll leave the link below, but this should be done within 12 hours of actually landing in Vietnam. So what you need to do is actually take a screenshot after filling out that form so and then they can scan it when you're at the airport. And hopefully your sponsoring company will do most of the work for you and go through the agent, but you still have to do a lot of these printing out and running around, getting the test and all organizing what you need to do. So be wary of that and give yourself one or two weeks to do that before you fly. And it usually costs about 60 to $100 to get back without COVID. But with all of these restrictions, it's very costly. Okay, so let's break down the cost of each one of these things and give you a total of how much it would cost you if you were to do this. And that's it. So what is it like spending quarantine in a hotel in Vietnam? I'm gonna be documenting my experience of that, so check out the next video coming up. All right, peace.